This Crimdell Bridge is a place of magic and legends and myths. I think the Crimdell is adorable. I like going here between classes so I can stop and feed the ducks and hang out with the ducks. I used to take rest from the dining hall um, and come and feed the fish. Yeah, um, I know that a lot of people think it's kind of like gross. They're like, it was really dirty in there. It reminds me of raw sewage. It's kind of... I'm never walking across the bridge. It's pretty gross. Um, well, I think sometimes it can be a little bit gross like it is right now. Um, but if you catch it on the right day, I think it can be like a really strikingly beautiful place. And it can be just an absolutely beautiful place to see. The Crimdale is actually ranked second most romantic location on a college campus by Playboy magazine. We remember going on a tour and standing over there um, when they told us about the Crimdale. Well, notice this <laughs> Japanese-style bridge over here, and there's a little legend that goes behind it. So say you come here for orientation, and you know, you fall in love, you find the person that you're in love with. So what you guys do is you walk across the Crimdale together, and you get them at the top of the bridge, and you walk across, and that's it. That's the legend. So you guys are going to be so happy for the rest of your life. The only way to break <laughs> that marital vow that you get from crossing the Crimdale is to throw your significant other over the top. So my freshman year, it was probably a month into school, and we went on a walk one night came up to the Crimdell and kissed on top of it. And maybe that's that's it, because I don't want to get tossed off. <laughs> if you walk across alone, you'll be alone for the rest of your life. Oh no! I never ever walk over it alone in a million years. Um, whenever I walk over it, I'm always with my friends and I'm like, hold my hands just in case. Don't be fooled by its aesthetic beauty. It's a very dangerous place. I think once I started getting involved in environmental science and getting involved in this water quality stuff, I kind of thought of the Crimdale as like, this is dirty waste. <laughs> and you end up with lots of bacteria, viruses, and other microbes that are chomping on all that juicy organic matter from the algae. And as that water sits, it tends to sit and bake. And as it bakes, then it tends to get a little bit more fetid out there. And, uh, and people see that and perceive that as visually and in terms of smell, pollution. Well, it's kind of um, a love-hate relationship. So it's rather gross, but it's also an important part of our triathlon. So we wouldn't want to give it up. It's uh, the first part of the triathlon. People get married off of it. People declare their love for one another off of it. I think the Crimdell is just a beautiful spot on campus. It's probably the most beautiful spot on any campus that I visited when I was looking for schools. And it's really, it's really unique, the type of lore and feel that pretty much everyone has about the Crimdell. And this is ours. This is our symbol. This is a symbol of the college. Crimdell. Water. Pond. Dirty. Legend. Murky. Wet. Sewage. <laughs>